Hello everybody and welcome back to the Gamer Donnie channel here on YouTube. I'm Gamer Donnie and we're going to play some American Truck Simulator. Today we're going from Mont Rose to Colorado Springs with uh, 43,793 pounds of porcelain sinks. We got the Peterbilt 389 glider by John Ruda. Got the D20 Series 60 in it by Zmods at 18 speed. This is John Ruda's reefer unit drive in. Yeah. Show you the bag. It says Gamer Donnie on the doors. Can't really see it. We're back into the dock. But yeah. It looks like it's going to be 244 miles. It's going to take about 15 minutes real life time. In game, it's going to be about five hours. So, uh,. Yeah, we should have, uh, we got almost a full tank of fuel, uh, 236 gallons out of 300, so we got more than plenty in to make it there. Um, no OP got 4,750 miles on it. Anyway, let's get this thing fired up and hit the road. I've been looking for a good sounding Detroit Series 60 in this game for a while. I finally come across this one by Z Mods. I picked it up. There ain't very many of them out there. At least not that sounds halfway decent like a Series 60 Detroit. They're only pushing a little over 600 horses, but it got quite a bit of torque to it though. Get ready to turn left. I think that off screen won't need that on there. Unnecessary. Turn left. So we are using Project Next Change graphics mods. Um, I'm not running it in 4K, I'm running it in 2K though. With 400% uh, scaling. Everything's turned up on high. I gotta get another hard drive for my computer because it's not gonna take a dump. So the game might be a little bit choppy or whatever. So I apologize for that. Um, you just have to work with me for a little bit. Turn left. Shouldn't be too long. Just weird, does it seem like it takes forever to get out of Montrose? I think it's because there's so many stoplights. It just seems like it's a town that just never ends. shade running don't have no video game filter none of that it's just the game itself so
these days, I'm going to have to buy me a new monitor. I don't know, 4K Ultra, what is it, Samsung, I think? The only problem is, with some games, it gets a lot of tearing. You got to use the V-Sync, which limits the frame rate. I can't play this one because I'm 4K Ultra and, and it looks pretty good. It's just got the tearing effect on it, so. I'm using the uh, NVIDIA plug. What is it called? The S something plug, I think it is. Not the HDMI, but it's one that's kind of like the HDMI. Blaster and Sons. What have I got over there? Fisherman's Paradise, huh? Yep, we ain't gonna make that one. I got this video, it's a refurbished video car, it's a, a Gigabyte 3070 OC Gaming Edition video card. It's one of the ones that automatically overclocks itself, whatever it needs. Which is alright I guess. I don't know, I'm not a big fan of things that overclock the shop. Like my CPU does the same damn thing. I got it turned down from a 32 thread or 32 core to 16. Because some games don't like the uh they just don't get along with the thread ripper. Originally I built this computer to do 3D modeling and make animations and stuff with. But it ended up becoming my uh gaming PC too, so um it's got more than plenty of power to it. Thank all the new subscribers and all the new viewers for checking out my channel. I appreciate it. I'm um, glad you stopped by here with all the American Truck Simulator channels there is out there. I chose this one to uh, watch. I appreciate that a lot. I know it ain't the best, but I just uh, enjoy playing the games and I thought I'd share them with you. So. So it looks like we're going to be hitting a Western Star update for the new truck. It's going to be a heavy haul truck from what it looks like. That's going to be pretty interesting. Um, I can't wait to see that. I love doing heavy hauls and good challenges and stuff. Always looking for a good challenge in the American Truck Simulator. I'm a real truck driver. I've been driving since uh, 2007. Yeah, August 2007. One month after my birthday. When I turned 21, I went down and got my CDL. 
driving ever since then. Well, up until, I don't know, this last year, I ain't really been that busy with the driving. But I got a few medical problems that so won't let me pass the uh, DOT physical. I'm trying to play this game uh, more, as realistic as possible. It is a game, so there's, of course, there's certain things you can't do. The sun's about to go down on us. Oh, it doesn't say. About to hit. 5.15, yep. I'm going to turn some lights on. I'm going to get a ticket. Okay, I'm going to get a ticket for not having the headlights on. I do play with traffic fine turned on. It keeps me from driving real crazy. And come on around, you little red convertible. I got you, driver. hit that sign leaning we better fix it fall down inside the cliff Mostly, most of the mods that I use are sound mods, and then I got the truck mods by John Ruda and the trailers. Oh, like each truck has like what, five or six different mods you got to turn on for it to work. And yeah, Z mod sound mods. I do have a uh, more differential ratios mod and uh, physics mod realistic physics mod installed and of course I got the project next gen graphics mods uh, I used the map mods I got reformer map mods I got project uh, not project next gen but uh, pro mods uh, Canada 
Then I got a mod Alaska North to the Future, and then I got another mod that connects pro mods and then Alaska two together. So you can actually drive up there, you know, and take the ferry. I would use coast to coast, but it just, I don't know, it just does, the game doesn't run good with it. They'd optimize a little bit, you know, make, fix the problems with it, I'd probably use it more, but until then, I don't plan on using it. It just seems like it adds more bugs to the game. Right on our ass back there. I got ninja brakes echoing through the mountains. Still got plenty of fuel and everything. We're good. We should be good to go. We shouldn't have to stop any on this trip. This ain't that long of a trip, really, so. I'm thinking about putting some underglow on this truck and trailer, but I don't know. The purple underglow would look pretty good, but with the cab lights on the back of the cab, the red lights or some red underglow would look pretty cool too. My beacon on. I'll have to remove the beacon. This is the same truck I drove all the way up to Prudhoe Bay. Took me six hours? No, right around six hours. Of course, I had the big uh, paddle guard bumper on the front of the truck. I took it off. It's about time to do another run up there. If I do do one, I'll probably live stream it. 
where I can do it all in one setting. It's my eighth guardrail back there, you see that? If I do get underglow, I'll probably get the red underglow. I think it would look alright. If I got enough money. Oh, we got a couple dollars. Hopefully the audio is alright. Somebody wanted to come here and decide to start pushing buttons on my stream deck. Little shit. Tried to set it back up the way I had it. So I got some rod knocking on it. One thing about this truck is the indicator lights are below the uh, or behind the steering wheel column, so you can't really see them. Unless you have the steering wheel all the way down, and then it cuts off the top gauges in your display. McDonald's, bum 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 bum, I'm loving it. Bum 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 bum, I'm shitting it. Getting that big of a hurry, we got plenty of time to get there. Looks like we might have to make a left hand turn up here, and yes, we're going to have to. We're going to need to be in another lane. We've got no cargo. Go straight on. I'm turned. A hauler and a tanker yanker. I never get open my drink.
I can clutch the gears too. Well, all the stuff taking off. You gotta use clutch to take off. There ain't no getting around that. And I guess you could just kind of fucking jam it into gear and hopefully you don't stall it, but yeah. I think some red under the glue would look all right. Yeah. Good sound, did you? Second, good sound, did you? Hit that thumbs up button. Point two on that old fuel mileage. I'm not supposed to do that. It's illegal to change lanes at an intersection. We're going to do it anyway. Keep left and then turn left. Turn left.
I want to take the first exit. No, I don't want to take the first exit. Exit now. There she be. Bill Walmart. I didn't know this old sinks at Walmart, but okay. I'll go with it. I mean, I might as well as they sell everything else. Texture. I need to update my uh, update my mods. I don't know, babe. Your guidance is now finished. It's just bright. That is bright. It's like where the hell's the thing at? I get out with my baseball bat. I keep inside your head. We're just gonna hurry up and skip the parking since the textures are messed up. So we got 243 miles, 7 hours, 3 minutes, 59.6 gallons of fuel, $16,124, and we're level 38 still. We're gonna be 38 for a while. So I hope you guys enjoyed. It's a short one, but nonetheless, it's still a good episode. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to, you know, do all the. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and leave a comment down below. We'll see you in the next video. Have a great day.